Arcana and Sorcerers are both mage classes of Lost Ark, but beside the fact they belong to the same mage profession, there is a huge difference between them. We were able to play Sorcerers since Western release, but Arcana we are finally getting in July, so it's a perfect moment to compare these two classes. Stay with me for the next few minutes to find out which are main differences between Arcana and Sorcerers and which class will fit better for you. Before we start, let me just say, subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more MMORPG videos and of course Lost Ark videos in the future. Let's start with Arcana. Arcana is a female mage DPS class. It's actually third mage profession class after Bard and Sorcerers. We still miss summoner class to get here in the West regarding mages. I know that many of you are waiting for summoner and probably only reaper is the new class which players want to play here in the west more than summoner but for those two new classes we still need to wait for a while but let's focus on arcana now arcana is using cards as medium for powerful spells and she is able to cast cards chosen by roulette wheel so naturally gameplay of this class revolves around using her cards at the right time in the most effective combination you will be able to use three different kind of skills yellow skills called general skills blue skills called stack skills and red skills called ruin skills you need to combine all of these skills to get a maximum damage output from this class. Yellow skills are normal skills which you will use to make damage and to charge your identity meter which is RNG. Yes, you heard good, RNG. Stack spells have blue icons and when used on enemies they build up to 4 stacks which can be seen above the enemy. Ruin spells are indicated by red icons and are used to detonate the stacks formed on enemies inflicting higher damage and additional effects depending on how many stacks you have detonated. So just from this short description of skills it's clear already now that Arcana is not beginner's friendly class since it will require time to master all of these mechanics. Two ultimate skills of this class are Fate of Death, which summons a big card, summoning the Reaper dealing damage in front of the card in a fan shape and knocking enemies back. And second ultimate skill is Prismatic Mirror, which summons card in a circle shape that bounces little cards around who stagger the enemies. Also, it allows to draw two cards from identity card instantly. Regarding identity of this class, Arcana has a bar that when it's full allows the class to use a tarot card which give you a bonus. You can hold that card or use it instantly but only two cards can be held at the same time. Two specific engravings of this class are Emperor's Edict skills fill the identity bar 50% faster and increase their damage by 10, 20 and 30%. Also it allows you to use Emperor Tarot card. Second engraving is Empress Grace. Ruin skills deals 20, 25, 30% more damage on enemies with 4 Doom cards and restores 30% of spent mana. For most powerful builds it's best to use Empress Grace engravings, at least from experience of most of Arcana players from Korea. Positive sides of this class are very good mobility and good damage output. However, this class is coming with 3 negative sides. First one is that it feels really squishy. If you are not careful, you will die very easy. So this class is very far from tank kind of classes which can take lots of damage. Second negative side is that it's not beginner's friendly class because it takes some time to master arcana gameplay on right way. And on the end, third negative side is that this class don't offer almost any support to your group. So overall looking Arcana is a class which can perform very good in both PvP and PvE. So if you like to play glass cannon kind of classes then she could be a good choice for you. Sorceress is a new class which was released in Korea in August of 2021 as a part of new update but we are lucky that we will be able to enjoy in playing this new class right away from the first day of release here in the west. This class is a spellcaster which uses fire, ice and lightning magic. You will use all of these three elements depending on situation. Fire magic is all about high damage and destruction. 
Lightning magic is all about damage and stuns, while ice magic is dedicated to slows and freezes. Sorcerers have a party buff, which makes target of your party to take 6% additional damage, which is really a nice buff, you have to admit. First things which are on my mind when I'm talking about sorcerers are AoE magical damage and beginner's friendly class with very enjoyable gameplay. That sentence alone would probably describe the best this class, but of course there is much more to it than this short description. To maximize damage while leveling, you should focus all your skill points on next three skills. Grand Tsunami, Scourge and Bomb. But even if you decide to spend your skill points on some other skills, you will not make a mistake. Sorcerers is a class which is making really nice damage and will make your leveling and gameplay experience very enjoyable. As a real mage class, Sorceress is a class which you will play with only one purpose, to make damage. So, overall conclusion, both classes, Arcana and Sorceress, perform very good in PvE and PvP, and they both feel like real mage classes. They are both glass cannon kind of classes, but Arcana is not beginner's friendly class because of huge amount of time required to learn to play this class on right way, while Sorceress is a class which is very friendly to beginners. For me, regarding that feeling under the fingers when you play it, Sorceress was always a little bit better than Arcana, and I also need to mention insane burst of damage which Sorceress have, but you need to try to play both classes for yourself, and then to make decision which to play. It doesn't matter what any guide, including this one, say, because it's entirely subjective how gameplay of some class feels under the fingers for each person individually. For me at least, choice is easy. I will play both. Sorceress I already have since release, and Arcana will join her as one of my main classes after release. Let me know in the comments below video how do you like a new class Arcana from information you have so far about it and will you try to play it after release. If you are interested into MMORPGs, check my YouTube channel for lots of gameplay videos, guides, news and reviews from World of MMORPG Gaming with main focus on a new upcoming PC MMORPGs. And of course, if you are interested into Lost Ark and the new classes in general, Check my YouTube channel for lots of content, because I am also playing Lost Ark over there in Korea. So whenever I see anything interesting is happening, it doesn't matter is it here in the West or over there in Korea, I will let you know about that. So far regarding Female Berserker and Aeromancer, new classes which should be released very soon in Korea, no news, no official release date. But like I said, when I see anything interesting, I will let you know about that. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more MMORPG videos and of course Lost Ark videos in the future. See you soon.